Islamic and Turkish cultures certainly have added to what the Romans and the Christians had established. Turkish cuisine is famous for a rich variety of ingredients, but sometimes you just want something simple. You want a balik ekmek, a fish sandwich. And the best place to have it in Istanbul is in the Minanu, right here at the Galata Bridge. And certainly, eating this at the Golden Horn, amidst all of this history, adds to the flavor. But not everywhere in Istanbul is so hectic. Islands of peace can still be found in the old city, like this mosque, just north of the Grand Bazaar. This is so peaceful. It's hard to believe that I'm in the midst of a, a teeming city of 15 million. But this place gives you a sense of calm, tranquility. I see community. It's about being with yourself. It's about having an opportunity to, to meditate on many things before going forward to prayer. And this is an amazing opportunity to start that reflection. A century after Sultan Mehmet, his successor, Suleiman the Magnificent, had a new mosque built in 1557 to outdo anything that had come before it, the Suleimanye Mosque. Inspired by the grandeur of the Hagia Sophia, this mosque is the epitome of the Ottoman Empire's golden age. Sultan Suleiman wanted his mosque to be a social welfare complex. A hospital was built, six schools, Turkish baths, a traveler's inn, a bakery, a medical college, and a public kitchen for the poor. In the 19th century, there was even a place called Attic's Alley, where cafes sold hashish and opium, though I doubt if that was part of Suleiman's plan. This is the mosque's public kitchen, or imaret. It fed over a thousand of the city's poor every day in a way that allowed people to keep their anonymity and their dignity. Uh, here, the person who gives the meal and who takes the meal doesn't see each other. So it's a small hole. It means that he can't play favors. Very nice. So I can take this anonymously yes, as well? Yes, please. Thank you. Buon appetito. This was a sultan's mosque meant for everyone. Suleiman's kitchen was designed to feed Muslims, Christians, and Jews alike. Today, it's a commercial restaurant in this modern city. <laughs> 